What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to talk about game sharing for the PlayStation 4. A lot of people have had their concerns, especially with the new software updates rolling out. Is game sharing going to disappear? Am I going to get banned for game sharing? I wanted to discuss that and much more, but before we do that, just wanted to let you know if you're new to game sharing, the link will be in the description. I have a separate video tutorial. Go and check that out. It's really simple. It goes step by step on the process and how to do that. Once you finish that video, come back here, check out the rest of this because you'll probably have the same concerns that most other people have. Now, before we get into all that, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of history because that was one of the questions. Um, so back in the PlayStation 3 days, you were allowed to game share with up to five consoles. DLC was a big thing back then. Um, as far as purchasing games, hardly anybody purchased digital content as far as that, that goes. Some people did and some people did game share. Um, and then once the PlayStation Plus got introduced and announced, they kind of realized, you know what? Game sharing with up to five people, uh, five consoles, at that matter um kind of kind of cuts <laughs> sales so they decided to restrict it down to two they restricted it down to two and that's how it's been ever since until the playstation 4 get announced one of the biggest issues and concerns was talk about used games and talk about being able to uh use the, the games you purchase, whether it's physical or digital, on your PlayStation 4 and then move it over to another console. And when there was all that talk and confusion, Sony addressed it in a comedic way. <laughs> they said, this is how you game share. They One person had the game and handed it over to the other person. And they're like, that's as simple as it is. Now, as far as sharing digital content, they had a different way of doing it than what you do in the past because you can only activate one PlayStation 4 as your primary console. The console that you activate as your primary console, you could download all of the games that you purchased from that account. And then everybody on that logs into that, that PlayStation 4 even if it's your own PSN, has access to those games. And that's cool, that's wonderful, because my friends come over sometimes, and I don't want them to play um, my Black Ops 3 on my account. I'd rather them log into their own account and play it there and ruin their KD. My KD's bad enough, <laughs> okay? Um, but we're not talking about KDs or anything like that. So, <laughs> getting sidetracked. Okay, so... One of the big benefits of being a PlayStation 4 owner is you can purchase your games, DLC, and even save your game saves in the cloud and then go to your friend's house, log into your account, download your games, download your DLC, and even use the save data in the cloud to pick up where you left off in a, in whatever game that you, you're playing or whatever game you desire. And that's pretty freaking awesome, right? Sony introduced that. They're not going to take that away. You're still going to be able to go to your friend's house and play the games that you purchased on your own account. Now, another one of the big concerns that a lot of people had was, in fact, is game sharing going to disappear because I can't activate my PS4 as a primary system on another account. And that's one of the things that I wanted to address today. So first off, I got my boy Teddy Flop here and he is not activated right now on this, the console. He's, he was activated on another console. I deactivated him. And now I'm on this console. On my other PlayStation 4. And I'm going to activate him as my primary. Even though he was, he was activated just a couple minutes ago on another PlayStation 4. 
I deactivated him there and now he's activated here and as you guys can see whatever games and DLC that I purchased um, with my boy Teddy flop it's all here and now you probably have the question of can another account be activated as primary let's go to my main account monkey flop by the way if you guys want to add me that's that's cool I love uh, especially when people send me messages when they add me I love that the most so let's go back in here okay activate as your primary ps4 this ps4 is activated as your primary ps4 so yes you can have multiple accounts activated as your primary account can i deactivate this and then move on to another console yes now there is a concern with that though i'm actually gonna get out of here real quick there's actually a concern with that because a lot of people have been abusing what I shared with you guys on how to game share and how to do all that. Um, what I see in a lot of my videos and if you are new to game sharing and you went over to that video, you'll probably see a lot of comments like, hey, I have... Um, Black Ops 3, I got Rocket League, I got Star Wall, and I got the beta for Killstrand. Game share with me, message me, um, and I go first. And the comments go on for days and days and days. People are always commenting and trying to trying to get other people to game share. The biggest concern that I have, and the biggest thing that I always tell you guys each and every video is do not game share with somebody you don't know with somebody you don't trust i only game share with family um and family immediate family that lives close to me i don't game share with with uh friends or not not because i don't trust my friends it's just i i just game share with my family um because if you game share with other people and especially you game share with people that maybe not that close to you you can have a couple of issues the biggest issue that i see all the time and that's why i stress don't game share with anybody you don't know is you game share with a stranger they go in they have your login and email and password and it, they go into your account and they change all their information all the information to their information change your password and pretty much steal your account and that's happened several times and the process to get your account back is a pain in the butt because you'll have to go and call Sony and hopefully you have a credit card on file that you used um, that way the the process gets speed up sped up um, so don't ever game share with somebody you don't know um, especially on the internet you don't know what people are doing and then the other thing is what a lot of people are getting banned for is the stupidest thing because the biggest issue with game sharing now I'll, I'll let you guys know this right off the bat the biggest thing with game sharing is people don't just go and say hey friend can I play black ops 3 I've been dying to play it they go all over the internet searching for different games and they try to play all these different games for free so what they're doing is they're actually downloading a bunch of games from different usernames Sony has a system for that red flag goes up this PS4 has been logged into several different accounts within a day and it has been downloading several different games all from different accounts within one day red flag red flag right away now maybe you're on the innocent side and say hey buddy you've been dying to play, play uh, Black Ops 3 on the PlayStation 4, I get it. 
here's my username and password. They go and use your account. Log in on their PlayStation 4. But their, their, their PlayStation 4 has already got the red flag because they've been doing it with so many other people. Now, just because you're being nice and you use your place to you let them use your account so that way they could play black ops your account could be compromised not only could they steal it but they can also get your account banned or suspended which will suck for you and i would hate to see that happen and a lot of people have actually been commenting on my videos and telling me like hey you know I think I'm getting banned because of the new um, software update because the game sharing is not allowed physically there's no possible way for two ps4s to be activated as a primary care with the same PSN it's not possible but what what Sony looks at is like okay this PS4 has a serial number and this PS4 has a number and <laughs> if it's downloading multiple games on different systems they're gonna see that they're gonna know that and whether you're innocent or not if your PSN was logged into that account it's possible so I'm just warning you guys right now if you plan on game sharing if it's not within your house, at least do it with somebody that you trust. That's it for me. Let me know what you guys think about this. I know I've kind of gone on for a little bit of time, but I wanted to make sure that I covered a lot of different things because a lot of people had a, a lot of questions and I hope I answered most of it. If I left anything out, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys have any questions, do not hesitate to hit me up in the comment section below. Also on Facebook or Twitter, you guys can always reach me there. I'm on Twitter like pretty much 24-7. If I'm not on YouTube, then I'm on Twitter. But it's like hand in hand 24-7. Um, anyways, if you haven't already subscribed, that would be awesome. If you would also take two seconds out of your day, hit a like. That really helps me out. And I will see you guys in the next news update. Yeah.